Hello everyone, this is Daughter Darkness, and today I've got another update about Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key, which is the uh, smartphone game for iOS and Android, which was announced for uh, Japan yesterday in an issue of uh, Famitsu, the like famous Japanese kind of gaming magazine. Uh, and today they published their interview with Tetsuya Nomura, and it's been translated by KH Insider, so if I, I'll just go through kind of what the interview sort of went on about. Uh, there's the fact that Kingdom Hearts Key, the original version, uses cards in the battles, while uh, there's some sort of medal type thing that's used in uh, Unchained Key. Nomura said that they've incorporated this with the idea of extending the title overseas. Adjustments have been made using the point of view of kind of, you know, localizing it for other countries. When they allowed American players to play the test version, the cards in Kingdom Hearts Key thought made people think that it was a, a card game, which wasn't the impression they were trying to give. They got good reviews about the gameplay, but they don't, didn't want that to be the first impression, so they used the medals to kind of do something else because they thought that the first impression is important, uh, so they wanted to use this medal thing as an alternative to the cards that were used in the original version. So then they asked about like, the structure and classification of the server, Nomura wants to add a new server, but um, he wants to split it into different language versions, which obviously makes sense because there's like a chat sort of thing, so you're not going to want to talk to people you can't understand. Uh, then they say, that seems like fun, what merits do the current players of Kingdom Hearts Key have from this game? He's, uh, Nomura said they're thinking of giving premiums to those who are currently playing Key. It was the original plan to have an interaction between both titles, uh, so that might be a big problem, presumably because the original key was never released in the rest of the world. Because they can't release them together, there's also a limit on how much you can make them alike since the systems are different. Obviously a browser game is different to a smartphone game. Uh, the, he doesn't consider them separate works, so I guess he considers them like, I guess, different versions of the same thing. So there are plans to add new elements along with continuing to add stuff to Kingdom Hearts Key. So there are shared elements, um, avatar collection is a big part of the game, so he wants to transfer avatar costumes from Kingdom Hearts Key to Unchained Key right from the start so players can sort of have the same feeling while they're playing through both games. So yeah, that's the interview and there's a lot of important stuff, of course, the North American release announcement, no announcement for Europe yet, which I don't think is too worrying, I think it's just because North America is their largest audience, but I can't see them not bringing it to Europe. If they do just bring it to North America, I'll probably punch a wall or something, but yeah, that's, you know, it's, quite, uh, it's a completely different thing, they should release it in the rest of the world as well, you know, everywhere they normally release Kingdom Hearts games. Uh, it makes sense since like all these countries have smartphones. Uh, the other stuff, yeah, obviously they're changing battle system from cards to medals, and also links between Kingdom Hearts Key and Unchained Key. There's nothing like groundbreaking in this interview apart from the fact that it's getting an overseas release. He only mentions America, but it should mean the rest of the world, Europe, Australia, everywhere else. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say, so we can or like American people I suppose can rest assured that it is going to be localized for you uh, for people in Europe and everywhere else we still have to wait a little bit but I think it's pretty much confirmed for us as well so we shouldn't have to worry yeah that's pretty much all I have to say so um, please comment your thoughts on this news and while you're down there please like this video if you did and if you liked it then check out my other videos and subscribe to this channel and as always thank you for watching